Yeah. Percy Jackson has found its lead role in Ryder. What's his name? Walker Scobell. <laughs> and what's Walker Scobell from? The one and only. No, he's from uh, Adam Project on Netflix, uh, starring Ryan Reynolds. And if you've seen that film, you know this kid, he's going to be a star. <laughs> really? Is he? You think so? Oh, yeah, he's fantastic. I think he, people compared him to kind of the Tom Holland vein in that he was unrecognized, but he has the charm, he has the wittiness, he has the acting chops that, sure. you know, you fall in love with a kid actor, and he's doing great. And so I think that this is a fantastic casting here. We have some breakdowns for people that are unsure of the story and stuff. I did see this uh, today. I was scrolling on Twitter, and somebody shared a mac and cheese commercial that he was in with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> and, yeah, that was good. Uh, like, I guess, I haven't seen the Adam Project, but I guess he plays a younger version of Ryan Reynolds in the mm -hmm. movie. And so he's doing this mac and cheese commercial as if he's Ryan... Um, Huh. Oh my gosh, Ryan Reynolds. 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 Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I almost said Gosling, and then my mind just yeah, blanked no. right there. Uh, but it's mm -hmm. hilarious. It's so funny, and I think like if this kid, he does seem a little like I don't know, just young and innocent for the Percy Jackson yeah, role. Well, but I guess that's kind of what it is. <laughs> like this show is yeah, like, true. And and he did, he has aged a lot more since the Adam Project. And I wouldn't say sure. he's as innocent because in every interview he can quote Deadpool. And I he's did quoting see Deadpool, that too. First words and all, and he's getting crazy. Like he doesn't he doesn't care. He's right. very like. This could be cool. Like a kid is. I yeah, I do really like how it's an un like it's the actor I haven't seen anything before being the lead role of mm -hmm. this. I would hate it if it was someone that was already established and be like, oh, I've seen this person a million yeah. times. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. We have the upcoming st the story, the series on this Percy Jackson version will be a twelve year old modern demigod who is coming in terms with the superpowers when Zeus accuses him of stealing his legendary lightning bolts. Of course, we've seen the films. We know it. It was our childhood. We know it. Uh, it directs adaptly the best-selling novel by Rick Riordan. Yeah. Uh, and then, as per his character description, Percy Jackson is described as a smart and compassionate kid with a sharp sense of humor. He's always seen himself as an outsider, a no, in no small part because of how the world sees his ADHD and dyslexia. He's impulsive and rambunctious and is quick to angry with anger when, themes, when things seem unfair to him. But beneath his cynicism... An affectionate son and loyal friend who just wants to do right by those who cares about. It's very, very cool there. I like that. Absolutely. I just, oh, yeah. Dude, I love Percy Jackson. Like, the books are incredible. Mm -hmm. If we get, I just want something that's good. That's all I'm asking for here is just give me something <laughs> yeah. that's good. Give me a season per mm -hmm. book, make it five seasons, and call it done. No, that's a good call. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we, with some of the live action, kind of, I want to say, child shows that have been coming out from Disney Plus, I think the quality is going to be there. It's just a matter of the story. But again, Rick Riordan and a lot of the, I don't know. Attached. Right? Do you maybe, think maybe. the quality's going to be there? I think. Well, I mean, I say that because some there's been a lot of stuff posting to Disney Plus, dude. Like that, I yeah. even mentioned. You know, I mean? know. Like show full lane shows and films, but that have you know good budgets. Here's a little <laughs> thing I'm worried about. Just a tad here okay. is mm -hmm. like the last two episodes of Moon Knight had very hit or miss CGI, right? And Marvel is their biggest yeah, property. Yeah. Right. It was it was, it was wild to see. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. So, but actually, like, know, maybe they're limited. You know? Maybe they'll limit it. That is, I do retract my statement a little bit. I thought the God in Moon Knight was actually really good CGI, but everything else was not good CGI. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It was, it was some like there's solid some really stuff, good stuff that's movie level, yeah. and then there's some stuff that's like probably some of the worst. Anyways, but, yeah, no, we'll I, talk Moon Knight yeah. stuff later, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm just so excited <laughs> to see this. I don't know when. We don't have any casting for Grover or um, Annabelle yet, so mm. stay. Word on the street, on yeah. the in -line, on lines, is that uh, there's two actors that are are. are Talks, talks right now. I don't, I don't know their names. In but talks, yeah. it'll hopefully be mentioned soon. Yeah, in cool. talks. Sorry. Beautiful. Oh, we don't know. I can't wait. But guys, mm -hmm. stay here at Strictly Casual if you want to be up to date on all the Percy Jackson news. Follow our Twitters, our TikToks, all that good stuff, and we will see you on the next one.